Leaders taking action after the surge in carjackings across the city. They are launching Operation Safe Pump with a security agency to help patrol gas stations for a couple of hours every evening in an effort to deter crime. And WGN's Gainer Hall is joining us now live with more on that. Gainer? Ray and Micah, this comes as more than 160 carjackings have been reported in the city of Chicago so far this year. Several aldermen saying their residents are terrified. At 59th and Ashland, the launch of a new program Friday night, Operation Safe Pump. Kate's security guards donating their time to help patrol gas stations. This location is where a grandmother was carjacked on Christmas Day. A hardworking black woman came to get some gas as she was delivering toys to her grandchildren. But on that morning, little did she know that she would be carjacked at her neighborhood gas station. Chicago police planning to beef up the carjacking task force. Investigators released this video from Wednesday morning near the Willis Tower. The suspects then robbed a fast food restaurant at 56th and Harlem, climbing through a drive through window. CPD officials say some stolen vehicles are used in other crimes, but often in these carjackings, they're used for joyriding. If you look at the black line, that's going to be uh, 20, uh, 2020 data. We've seen numerous cases where young people that are not even old enough to have a driver's license are committing the carjackings. Frustration and fear. People are terrified. They're terrified to be out. Voiced at a virtual City Council Public Safety Committee meeting earlier, and tonight, a plea from community activist Andrew Holmes. You got to stop carjacking. You're walking up, putting guns in people's faces, and, and just scaring them to death. With most of the carjacking related arrests in Chicago only facing charges of misdemeanor criminal trespass to vehicles, he's calling for stiffer penalties. I don't want to say lock people up or put people in jail, but you know what? It got to end somewhere. So we're going to have to start charging these individuals and we're going to have to look at it in a different way because the more carjackings, the more problems we have. Police pledging to work with prosecutors and community leaders on this issue. They say the average age of those involved in these carjackings, 15 to 20 years old, with some even younger than that. Reporting live tonight from CPD headquarters, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.